Hey Arborjet, I'm having a problem with my QuickJet air system. We've probably injected maybe 10 trees with it so far. Um, so I'm gonna put it all together and I want you to see what's going on with it. Um, I got a quarter of a bottle of water in here right now. Um, so we'll tighten that one up. And uh, Put on the Oop. there we go. Okay, it's connected. Look out. Can I read? Huh? Oh, 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 yeah, good point. Um, so we're at, uh, we still have about 2,000 psi left in there and um, it's, we've got it pumped uh, set to 80 PSI right now. So there's plenty of air in there. And um, so what was happening on the job site, we injected triage and it went in perfectly. Then we put the propozole in the bottle and nothing changed. And when we would hit the switch, the, um, the little arm that comes out, whatever that thing's called, would go would move no problem but then when it would retract no liquid come would come back into the chamber um, and we did it over and over and over and we kept having the same problem so we took the whole thing apart every single one of these uh, pieces we took off we thinking there might be a there's got to be something inside there plugging it um, took the barrel off took this little elbow right here off um, every piece that we could disconnect we disconnected it flushed it with water to make sure the independent pieces were not clogged um, and then put it back together and we did that multiple times. Um, let's open up the main valve here and you'll see what that looks like. Okay, so nothing is happening in there and even after, you know, sit here and do this all day now I started paying much closer attention to it and I noticed that there's air that comes out where it says on right here there's a little opening in there we actually took this plate off right here to see if there was something weird down there but there's not much going on down there so I think that that air is su supposed to be coming out you can even hear it make that whistle sound when I leave the rubber of my gloves too close but um uh, that's the only thing we could figure out. If you look at the bottle itself and you can see the, the liquid coming down here and then retracting back into the bottle. So it looks like it would be moving, but it's just not. It's, it's going out two inches and then retracting back. So I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I don't know what changed between the triage and the propozole. Um, you know, one minute it was working just fine. All we did was unscrew this bottle, fill it with propozole, put the cap back on, and then it didn't work. And ironically, we had just went and knocked on the door, got the client out so he could see how cool the system worked. And then we stood there at the base of the tree going like this and nothing happened at all. So we're wondering if you could look at our setup from what I've done so far, and maybe you can hear what it's doing and see what it's doing and you know exactly what the problem is. So look forward to hearing back.